There's a new Google Maps update with a 3D preview, some pretty iconic structures. We were looking at Paris, France before, here's San Francisco in California, taking a look at the Painted Ladies. Wait, I was just in San Francisco, I didn't see this. Also the Colt Tower, this does give you a better view of like exactly the, what the surrounding area looks like. Here's the Tower of London in the UK. Some of these 3D views are like way better than others. Also Buckingham Palace, the resolution is just so nice. Now Google doesn't have 3D views for every everything and not even every iconic structure out there. You'd only find them in certain cities and in certain areas. Like sadly, the pyramids of Giza do not work in Egypt. You'd think they'd be like the first ones they do. So now I'm just going around to different world capitals to see which ones are included. Here's one in Tokyo. Oh, nothing in Pyongyang, North Korea. I really hope they expand this to include just like everything. I want to be able to look at my house in the same exact view. Norway's oil fund is larger than the combined wealth of the richest 10 people in the world. So you have to put together all these billionaires some famous ones like Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, obviously Elon and Jeff Bezos. And yet, just the oil fund in this Scandinavian country is still more than that. Now that I think about it, I really haven't seen very many Norway slander memes. They must be paying out here for the good PR. Now that I think about it, I feel like literally every Norwegian meme I've ever seen is pretty much all positive. Apparently the Norwegians own their oil as opposed to private companies, so they spend it on public education and welfare, etc. The percentage of European population who believe in the existence of hell. And it looks like Turkey tops the list at over 90%. Some of these other countries are even close to that. 72% of Bosnians believe in hell, but still much less. Also, Poland and Romania rank pretty high. And in the exact opposite situation, less than 10% of Danes believe in hell. The Nordic countries as a whole are pretty low. Estonia cannot into Nordic, but they're pretty close. Actually, look at the massive difference between all the Baltic countries. You'd think they'd be a little more similar. Why does it look like the more north you go, the less likely you believe in hell? All these people know is snow. They can't imagine a place that's super hot like that. Western Europe also is all eerily similar, hanging around 25%, and the Balkans, as usual, is just a mess. Funny how Norwegians don't believe in hell when it exists and is located in their country. Finally, there's some Norwegian slander. <laughs> now, it'll be very interesting to follow this map up with how many people believe in heaven. Countries which are richer than the world average. So the green nations have more GDP per capita than average. Of course, we have most of the continent of Europe. In North America, we have Canada and the US, and actually Panama slipped in. Panama and Costa Rica. I didn't know they were higher than the average. Also didn't realize Chile, Argentina, and Uruguay were above everyone else in South America. Ooh, and unfortunately there are zero places in Africa included. But hopefully that can change, just like how New Zealand can for some reason change their location on the map. They seem to be floating away and moving to a different side of Australia. And the only places in Asia are like Saudi Arabia, China, Japan, Malaysia. Also another surprise, Turkmenistan slipped in? How did Turkmenistan slip in and not Turkey? Or like Georgia, Azerbaijan? This is crazy. I guess the African country of Libya is actually closest to the world average of GDP per capita, but there's actually many countries that sit along the world average, so it's very close. I like how France was included, but France's territory in South America wasn't. Global internet usage based off time of day. So when you see countries in red, that means they have a lot of people on the internet, and obviously when the filter is in yellow, that is during the daytime. So one trend I'm really noticing, watch China and India pop off during the daytime, and it really skyrockets around sunset. Set. Maybe after work, people like to go down Wikipedia rabbit holes or a game. Europe is the same exact way. You can see it continually increase throughout the day and then it just stops almost like immediately at night. USA is not the same, however. We have a lot of internet usage, like I think during work hours. Could that be because so many people are working from home? They're using the internet and it actually goes down by like, it looks like maybe the 6 p.m. range. Yes, yeah, South America follows the same trend as the rest of the world. It's only North America that does it a little bit differently. One outlier I can find here is Egypt. They're actually pretty low during the daytime and their internet usage peaks somewhere kind of at night. Like look here, a couple hours into the darkness. The longest running cartoon set in each U.S. state. I forget one of my favorite cartoon shows, the regular show is actually set in California. Of course, South Park, Colorado. That's been going on for a long time. Wait, Courage the Cowardly Dog is set in Kansas? Wait, now that I think about it, that actually makes a whole lot of sense. Those native citizens of this state is so obvious. Of course, King of the Hill in Texas. Forgot they made Lilo and Stitch a TV show. Garfield's from Indiana? Why did I not know that? Some other classics like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Family Guy, Steven Universe. Captain Underpants truly is just the average Ohio citizen. I'm actually more depressed that so many of these states don't have a famous cartoon show located in it. There's so much to do with West Virginia or Alabama. Those places are practically already cartoons. The fact that Hey Arnold didn't take place in New York is actually 
literally like pissing me off. <laughs> I was literally in New York three months ago and I just kept thinking to myself, this is just like, hey Arnold. I feel really betrayed. Inner city Washington. I cannot believe it. Angry Beavers taking place in Oregon is like the most duh thing to me. Pickle Rick might one day take over Washington though. Man, this is making me want to go back and watch some cartoons. Oh, Gravity Falls. I'm literally considering making a cartoon show about the back rooms and just doing the setting in Wyoming. As a native Georgian, Squidbillies is a documentary. Wait, almost missed to check the Pacific Ocean. The ultimate big brain question, how many holes are in a straw? And as you can see, the American public are very divided on this subject. I feel like I go back and forth on this topic every single day. Let's figure out the definition of hole. According to Google, a hollow place in a solid body or surface. This doesn't help at all. A hole is an opening in or through a particular medium. I'm leaning towards saying it's maybe just one? If I like poke a hole through this, we'd say I poked a hole in the paper. Not holes, but hole. But if you put this thing under a microscope and zoomed into like an atomic level, there'd be like a lot of thickness right here. It would be, it'd resemble a straw. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like not really, but there would be a thickness to it. That's what's throwing people off is the thickness of straws. Why am I talking about this right now? I'm sorry, I've got to go with the 46% that say one. Look at this 7% that don't want to pick a side, cowards. Why you should invest early in life, starting at 30. That's not even that early. I know there's like 17 year olds that are starting to invest. There's technically no limit. You could start investing at five. So putting like five grand into the stock market at 20 years old will net you at least double by the age of 40. Looks like a lot more than double. And if you keep holding on to it, on average, again, this is this is past, uh, what, what, what is that thing that all the investors say? Past profits don't guarantee future income, whatever. But as you can see, this dude that invested five grand at 20, uh, now at 65 is like a millionaire. Wait, but keep in mind he continually invested. He didn't just keep that 5,000. I mean, he eventually invested over $100,000. He probably got to 200,000 by the time he was in retirement age investing. So he only made maybe a profit of like a million still. That's pretty nice. I don't know if I should be talking about this topic because my investments are still like way in the red. This is a map showing the Nono German forces in World War II one day exactly before they were forced to surrender, which interestingly enough, like none were actually in Germany themselves. They were like hiding out in countries that they previously invaded beforehand, like Norway, Denmark, Austria, Czechoslovakia. As you can see, so much focus by the allies were probably put on the main country themselves that they weren't really worried about the occupied countries. You can even see from this map that there wasn't a whole lot of intention in going to some of these other places. Even the Netherlands was still pretty occupied. I'm assuming that's why there were so many one-way trips to Argentina happening right here. There are actually still some holdouts still in France too, right along the coast. What were they doing out here? in these Mediterranean islands with these possible forces that escaped the African front perhaps interesting that that whole 1000 year Reich only really lasted like 12 someone found this map in their local newspaper recently we have Afghanistan yes but uh where is Pakistan India is now surrounded by nothing but China I think well maybe Bangladesh is still there wait I now just realized you took things from India too in the east Pakistan has now become West China or maybe all of this is now just West Taiwan Hmm. Also, they got rid of Tajikistan, and they thought we wouldn't notice. Everyone knows when the famous Tajikistan is no longer there. A shark with a GPS device paints a shark on the map. Here's the head, here's the fin, and here's the long tail. I really wish there were more dates given. How far was he able to travel and in what time? I'm going to assume he started in October of 2021, and he's probably done this all within less than a year, which maybe isn't the most insane thing. I mean, sharks, like, they're always swimming, right? Even if they're sleeping. This shark really looking to get some sort of snack along the east coast it appears maybe just a tiny bit of man flesh i don't know you think he painted this beautiful work of art just to promote shark week kilograms of food wasted in european countries man greece what you doing out here 142 so hungry seems to be pretty high on the list the non-wasteful countries appear to be russia austria and the lowland countries not luxembourg though luxembourg's rich they can afford to waste food i guess italy with all the great food you guys are making out here how are you guys affording to waste it i would never let italian food go into the trash I feel like Italian food is some of my only food I like to actually like reheat. I'll take it home or eat it later. I have exactly no idea how this data is calculated, but still it's nice food for thought.
Direct translations of Portuguese cities into English. Okay, off to a great start here in the northwest corner. How would you like to be from a city called Fail? Or Lame? I'd much rather be from Wednesday. I can't even show all these. They're so bad. <gasps> oh, I just saw- Oh my god. Just saw- I can't. Huh. I wonder what happened here. Portugal, what are y'all doing? Purgatory. <laughs> the perfect description of Portugal. Okay, really? Still? You gotta let this go. You gotta let go of the grudges. Honestly, Portugal, I don't even know what to say to you anymore. I didn't realize they had so many meme towns. Most viewed music videos on YouTube, excluding nursery rhymes. I was gonna say, do not bring up the one who shall not be named. We got some Maroon 5, Girls Like You, Faded, Alan Walker, Dark Horse, uh... Okay, I know Crazy Frog. How do I not know some of these songs? Justin Bieber, I thought he'd have a lot more on the list. Maybe I have heard of them, but I just need to hear them. I, I don't recognize them from, uh, oh, Dame Tuka. I know that one. Gundam Style still ranked up there pretty high. It's had like 10 years to grow, though. Uptown Funk, See You Again, Shape of You, and the number one, Despacito. The fact that he never dropped Despacito 2 is like the biggest travesty. Always lean into the memes. It didn't even have to be a great song. He could have just dropped it like two or three years later when he needed more exposure, when People, like forgot about them. Crazy that all of these are over a billion views now. I forgot that a billion views was possible on YouTube. Who's gonna be the first to 10? Letters with higher Scrabble value are typically longer duration in Morse code. So all these letters take a little bit longer in Morse code and this axis shows the number of Scrabble points you get. So J, Q, X, and Z. There are a couple others that don't give you as many points but are also longer to do in Morse code. So basically what you're saying is we should do Morse code Scrabble somehow. I don't even know how that would be possible. But how to do one of those really loud whistles form an A shape with your index and middle fingers using both hands draw your lips to cover your teeth mm. lip placement is key give your lips a quick lick to wet your whistle <laughs> imagine like SpongeBob your fingers will help your bottom lip tuck your teeth push tongue back into mouth oh put the tips of your fingers underneath your tongue right at the tip blow through the holes between your two index fingers Nope, doesn't work. And big thanks to Twickenham, the Polish, Lithuanian, Commonwealth, Drew's Argentinian grandpa, Austin Powers, twenty dollars is a lot. A Drew, fat Norwal, Barnsky W, Isaac, I guess, bring back Poland Cowboys, eighty three, Price, Go I stole Drews, Pet Dog, Monday, London, five sixteen, Philip R. S. Robert E, Rye the, the Mexican, seven sixteen. And why am I doing this?